Hello and good day. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmermarketing.com and in today's video what I would love to answer for you is how to choose a category for a service that you provide but it's not offered by Google. In other words, you're filling out your Google business profile and let's say that you do hair curlers for dogs. I'm just saying. And you're looking and you're saying, well, they offer pet grooming and they offer pet curling or they offer curling, but they don't offer pet cur grooming for dogs, right? Or whatever it is, I, I you know, I, I'm making it fun, but the point or the fact still remains that you offer a service. There's things that are semi-related, but it's not specifically what you offer. What do you do in this case? Because you have to choose a primary category and you want it to be the best for your customer to find you and you want to appease Google and their rules and their guidelines, but you just don't see what it is. And you know that you shouldn't write just a custom there because then you'll never show up for anything. So what do you do? Well, this video is going to answer that question for you. How to choose a Google business profile category for your business if your business that you actually provide isn't listed. Here's what you need to do. But before I get into that, please take the time. Head on over to chrispalmermarketing.com for any and all of your SEO needs, whether it's services, whether it's consultation, services, whether you just want to learn more, masterminds, courses, whatever it is, I have you covered. With that being said, let's talk about Google Business Profile categories. All right, list of Google Business Profile categories. All right, so these are the Google Business Profile categories. All right, this list here is brought to us by this website. I don't know who this is. I'm just using this as an example. All right, it's going to give us our list. Here is all the categories that are inside of Google Business Profile. You have a service that's not in this list. What do you do? Let's say, for instance, an accounting firm. But you're an accounting firm for, uh, I don't know, uh, contractors. So we're going to come on out here and we're going to do accounting for contractors. Now, here's what you need to do in order to find the best. First and foremost, you'll come in and you'll say, uh, you know, accounting for contractors, Miami. Let's say your business is in Miami. What you'll do is you'll come inside of here and you'll see what your other competitors have. The business owners that are inside of the map pack from wherever you're searching from. For instance, I'm searching for accounting contractors in Miami. Okay, I'm looking for contractors in Miami. I'm going to look at their primary category, which is listed right here. This is the primary category that you're going to see. Now, in this instance, I see three separate types. So it's like they still haven't decided what to put. I'm still unsure. And this is where you want to look in large cities for the exact service that you do and see what's being rewarded in other areas. So I'm looking in Miami. Now let's go take a look at Los Angeles. Okay. So we'll go to Los Angeles and we'll take a look. So previously we saw accountant, a tax firm, and a bookkeeping, bookkeeping, accountant, certified public accountant. Okay, now we're here. Go to another large area. So I've seen accountant twice. We'll scroll on down. Okay, I'm looking for public accountant, public accountant, public accountant. Great. Accounting for contractors. I'll do one more. New York City. All right, I'll scroll down the list if there is one. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. But what I'm looking for is I'm looking for consistencies in not only my area, but other areas. So far, what I have seen consistently for this particular example, an accountant for contractors, which is what you could be, you could be focused and centralized just around contractors. What I've seen consistently is accountant and certified public accountant. So primary service would be accountant because that's broad. And then I would do the certified because I see that consistently across the board on in other areas. So this is how you decide, hey, I have a business, I have a service that I provide, and I have categories that are similar, but they're not exactly what I provide. What do I do? 
Well, you look at the top performers in your location and see what categories they have. And then you go to other larger cities, high competition cities, and you see what is Google rewarding. And that is how you make your decision. My name is Chris Palmer with Chris Palmer Marketing. If you have any questions like this or anything Google Business Profile related, Google My Business related, local SEO related, please feel free to go ahead and ask in the section below. But of course, I always look forward to seeing you in the next Google Business Profile category video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.